The Mading Independence Day lecture was on a theme on the state of the nation's economy and politics 65 years after independence, the path to sustainable development and democratic consolidation. The keynote speaker for the lecture and former Minister of Finance, Professor Kwisibuchi, among other things, noted that resolving the current economic hardship will come at a cost, but such a cost should not overburden the vulnerable. Apart from urging government not to adopt solutions that burden future generations, Professor Bouchry also advocated strongly for a national development plan. Professor Boutry finally noted that if the current crisis is not resolved with transparency and with input from other players like the opposition, it will turn into a catastrophe soon. We are in a situation where we can't service the debt and so meet our obligations, including those who are vulnerable. That's where we are. I'm saying that the first, the solution must involve a recognition that we have a problem. Now, the public, I'm saying we must level the public. It is a matter of recognizing, understanding, and respecting the views of the dissident, if you like, engaging in transparent, in transparent and respectful conversation, and in the hope that even the opposition have some patriotism that the issues they are raising are critical issues. That's where the transparency and the thing gets resolved. It must be a recognition. I, 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 I don't want us to panic. I'm, not, I'm saying let's not press the panic button. But the crisis is here, and if it is not resolved, it will lead to a catastrophe. Very well. And we have an obligation to avoid a catastrophe. The lecture attracted stakeholders from all walks of life. Two notable panelists, associate professor in the Department of Economics at the University of Ghana, Professor Bena Odru, and economic and investment consultant, Dr. Ni Kwekusoa, joined Professor Boche to dissect his lecture. Commenting on the lecture and the subject of Ghana's economic issues, the World Bank Country Director for Ghana, Liberia and Sierra Leone, Pierre Laporte, noted that the country faces a tough road to restoring macroeconomic sustainability. Is it a really serious situation? The numbers speak for themselves. The situation is very serious. Eh? And uh, at the World Bank, you know, we, we've not hidden the fact when we discuss with uh, the minister, with the uh, all the colleagues in finance and in, you know, even with the head of state, that uh, the situation is very difficult right now. Ghana faces a very, faces a very tough uh, road ahead to restore macro sustainability. Yes, uh, COVID has uh, has not helped, but you know, even before COVID, there were signs that uh, situations was getting a little bit uh, on the on the more challenging end. So the, the key thing is, uh, as you say first, to be transparent to the people, right? Because yes, the figures speak for themselves, but not everybody is as educated as we are. Not everybody understands what these numbers mean. So it's important to, to talk about it as we do today, but especially what is the solution. According to organizers of the lecture, the One Ghana Movement, in partnership with the University of Ghana Department of Economics and School of Social Sciences, the lecture was designed to provide a constructive platform for engaging and shaping solutions for the socio-economic challenges and prospects of Ghana.